The extreme heat can cause some major issues for your heart, and the uh, experts are recommending you take precautions when you're outside this time of the year. The heat can kill people. It is a, one of the major factors in, uh, in death for weather events. In hot weather, the body triple, uh, tries to uh, cool itself down by shifting blood from major organs to uh, underneath the skin. This shift puts the heart under significant more, significantly more stress. Some easy ways to avoid the heat are things you can always do. Wear light clothing, sunscreen, take plenty of that. Drink a lot of water instead of alcohol or caffeine drinks. Dr. Cheryl Martin Schild, the medical director of neurology and stroke at Turo Infirmary here in New Orleans, joined us on the show yesterday to explain some of the signs of dehydration and heat exhaustion. You may be getting into trouble with heat exhaustion when you start having excessive sweating, if you start developing a headache, if you feel kind of dizzy or faint, uh, you may recognize that your breathing is getting a little fast and shallow, and you may start feeling nauseated. If you realize that you haven't needed to void for a while, or if you void urine and it looks dark, that's a sign that you're getting dehydrated before you may feel any of the signs of heat exhaustion or even a heat stroke. The doctor says that older Americans, older adults, face the highest risk of having a major health issue caused by the heat. This is especially the case for people who have heart disease, high blood pressure, or a history of strokes. And Peyton, as we mentioned, the heat is one of the big killers for weather. Yeah, often people overlook that and flooding. Those are actually the biggest weather killers over hurricanes, tornadoes, all those types of things. So just be careful. And the reason it's so bad down here, it's the humidity. Whenever you sweat and it's humid, your sweat does not evaporate. Therefore, you don't get that cooling effect on your skin and then you got problems. 